Um, I'm also a fierce protector of the underdog, as you've heard. Uh, those that cannot help themselves, I take it upon myself to help them. So I've rescued countless animals over the years. In fact, my two dogs that are sitting in my house right now, probably waiting for their dinner very impatiently, uh, they come credit of Coastal Boxer Rescue, South Florida. I have a 50 pound giant sulcata tortoise that lives in my backyard rent free, walks around wreaking havoc on my flower bed and eating <laughs> the most organic, expensive romaine lettuce and alfalfa sprouts. And I adopted him in November because he needed a home. So, um, what else can I tell you about me? Uh, how about a dirty secret? All right, I love astrology and I am a huge fan of the Real Housewives Empire. I don't care, Atlanta, New York, Beverly Hills, I love the trash. Um, my favorite genre of movie is horror. My favorite food is a donut. I do Pilates religiously and I fully believe that pineapple belongs on pizza. And I don't I would do it with the 
vested interest in the person, with the child, of making a difference. So I started my own company, Kids Life Solutions. It was very successful, and I worked with some amazing families. I worked with some amazing people. Uh, we serviced kids all over Miami-Dade and Broward County for many years. I worked with teachers hand-in-hand -hand in their classrooms, taught them how to, how to have instructional control, taught them about preventative strategies, and kind of strategies for controlling disruptive behavior. I loved the kids, I loved what I did, I loved my company, but all good things come to an end. In 2019, ACA, the Agency for Healthcare Administration in Florida, they started an initiative to make budget cuts uh, and otherwise basically overhaul the ABA program in South Florida. So I was a fierce opponent to these changes. In fact, in 2019, April 2019, I was interviewed by Channel 10, where I spoke out against, against these proposed changes, how it would detrimentally affect these kids and their services. Um, me and several other ABA clinic order, owners, we hired lobbyists, we wrote our representatives, we did whatever we could to fight back, uh, but ultimately we lost the fight. In 2021, hundreds of ABA clinics were closed in South Florida. I was one of them because at the end of the day, and this is information I gathered from hiring my own lobbyists, my own attorneys, writing my own senators, at the end of the day, ACA decided that they were more concerned with the bottom dollar than they were about the kids. They wanted to deal with these high-end agencies. They wanted a monopoly, essentially. They wanted ABA to look like a phone company where you have T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, and those are your choices and nothing else. So the kids suffered. Many, I would say thousands of kids lost services and had to get put on wait lists for these very large ABA companies. ABA companies owned by private equity, finance types in fancy suits and Rolex watches with absolutely zero interest and zero education in children. But essentially, that was the battle I lost. I fought the good fight though. Um, my business died, but my fighting spirit did not. So I will continue to stand up against corporate greed and I will continue to stand up against shady bureaucrats. I will continue to fight for the underdog and move towards change. I hate the idea of money over people. It makes me sick. I hate the line. I hate the cover-ups. I hate the circular answers and like the failure to have any accountability. Um, and I hate all that. I see it in politicians. I see it in the pseudo-politicians. And I won't stand for it. This pandemic showed me one thing. It showed me that that is exactly what the school district is. It's a bunch of bureaucrats. It's a bunch of pseudo-politicians in cheap suits. They put money first. They speak out of both sides of their mouth. They are slippery and unaccountable. They look at numbers and not at people. They say all the right things, but they fail to deliver. They care about the public appearance, but they don't care about the public. They care about the money they make off of each child, but they don't care about the child. I see the board for what it is. It's corrupt, it's inefficient, it's the establishment. I hate the establishment. <laughs> so, the school board lacks transparency, it lacks accountability, it lacks respect for the community, it lacks respect for the taxpayer, it lacks, res it lacks respect for the teachers, and respect for the parents of the children that it's supposed to be serving. But, if someone is being taken advantage of, I will fight for them. If something is unjust, I will speak out. If something is broke, I will fix it. Because remember, that is what I do best. I am a problem solver. So, 